Hello, and welcome to LR Headquarters. I am your host, Belly Von Awesome. Today's top story. The Northmen of the Chaos Waste celebrate Corn Day with their traditional maledictions of the old world. But first, sports! I am joined today by the coach of the future handbags, Beto. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I am very well, thank you. Awesome. So yeah, um, you have a lot of respect going on right now. <laughs> amongst all the other uh, coaches, from what I've heard. <laughs> mm, mm. Uh, people don't like the fact that you're the lizard men. <laughs> I've, I've heard that. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, what else have you heard? Has anyone actually come to you about their... Uh, Oh, how do you say that? Issues. <laughs> uh, a certain uh, person who shall the name name was. <coughs> oh, point. <coughs> oh, oh, um, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it calls a, a pay to win team. <laughs> <laughs> a, a pay to win team? Are they DLC? Oh, lizard men then, or. They are, they are DLC, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> they, they were good in the original game as well, and, and tabletop for that matter, so I think it was a better choice than your dwarfs, that's for sure. So, what? <laughs> yes. Well, we're talking about that. So originally, uh, you were the dwarfs. Uh, you hated them, <laughs> uh, and now you're lizardmen. Uh, what? Why? Why lizardmen? Why do you choose them? Because I'm like the last uh, tournament, I did some research. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, smart play. <laughs> so you found out lizardmen have like a high win rate, and uh, or you just like their play style? Is that what? Yeah. Uh, I just like I, just, I like the play style. It's uh, you got the bashy. Mm-hmm. Bash section, then you've got like the little runners. So the little dodging runners, yeah, yeah. yeah they they definitely work well against. Uh, you can definitely change up your tactics, which is very handy mm. in a game of Blood Bowl. So week two, we're kind of uh, a little bit late on this. It's the start of week three, but week two, we've had some. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've yes. had a bit. We've had some continuation of the Agorfest. fest. Lots of injuries, <laughs> lots of deaths. It's been glorious. <laughs> it's been phenomenal entertainment, even for people losing uh, Sherwood Owls, myself. Um, it's been absolutely great fun and hilarious. How do you, I mean, how do you feel about this phenomenon? Because <laughs> I've never actually seen this happen in a league ever. ever. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it. It's, it's one of those where any team could win at the minute. It's... Uh... Everyone's getting proper bashed yeah. around, aren't they? No one's really got an advantage at the minute. <laughs> Not at the moment. Uh, though some people believe that you do. <laughs> well, it's, well, not really. If you look at my team, you know, yeah, they've got the strength. But they haven't got the agility. You can easily outrun them. You can block them in. If you just do you know, your research, you can find out how to beat them. This is very, very true. This is very, very true indeed. Assuming the roles are good. Because uh, even yes. if someone has tactics, <laughs> they could stop rolling a lot of ones. Sure, <laughs> owls. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the curse of ones. Do you feel that's going to happen to you, or do you think it's going to be contagious at all, or are you not worried about that at all? Uh, worried? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's happening. <laughs> yes, I've, I've seen it on one or two matches where you know you've been screwed up by the dice rolls. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, even my, even my first match with DJ, uh, his, his last move, he could have made it 2-1, but he got yeah. screwed on the dice roll. It, it seems to Which be was good. <laughs> it means good for you, yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> it, it, for some reason, the dice, I don't know if it... I mean, I'm, just, I'm literally going to throw this out. I don't know if it's a bit of programming that DJ's put in, or if it's the game, <laughs> or if it's literally just sheer blind luck. I'm going to go with that one most likely. But I've never known so many ones, no. ones and twos. It is. I mean, if it was like a tabletop game of forty k, yes, <laughs> you expect a lot of ones. <laughs> I, ah, uh, it. I'm, I'm baffled. I'm generally baffled. But anyway, uh, Gorefest. Uh, have you, have you had any mishaps yet? Uh, on my side, no. I think I've had one knockout, so I've been pretty lucky so far. Ooh, so your time's coming. Yes. Your time. Uh, that's why you're worried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. Well, well, let's talk about teams. So, uh, what's your thoughts on teams? Who who you thinks in your own leaderboard in your head? Who's who's at the who's at first? Who's at last? Who's who's got your attention, or you know who shouldn't have your attention at the moment? <laughs> The one team that does have my attention is is Animus. The Necro World. Yes. Ooh, yeah, they got a uh, twelve foul. I mean, twelve hundred at the moment. 
Yeah, they just just beat me on the uh, the value scale. Mmm, just by ten points. Mmm. Yeah, uh, Necro World has made a devastating uh, first entrance mm. into the Ono League. Uh, completely mullered me. I don't know if that was more him playing. I mean, he is a good coach, or if it's just the ones. But he did absolutely beat up uh, Overlord's army. Desran's team. Yeah. Uh, Desran being the reigning champion right now, uh, which is a bit of a shock. <laughs> mm. uh, not entirely unpredicted, because I've played Blood Bowl of Anima before. How do you? Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about him, the new guy? I'm loving it. You know, he's, he's a new he's guy. He's coming. You. you know, all guns blazing, and he's just knocking teams out left, right, and centre. I, I do love his patented mm. talent. So I patented tactic of smack him with the ball. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, he worries you, right? Actually, or... the opposite. To be fair. Oh, you think he's going to help you? Uh, well, no. I, I actually want to play him. I'm looking forward Ooh. to actually playing him. Anima, if you're watching this, yeah. <laughs> you have a challenger. <laughs> he's I don't coming mean that for in you. a bad way. I mean that in a damn good way because like, he's been inflicting injuries. Yeah. And my team's been <laughs> inflicting a lot of injuries. It will so, be a good match. to get them two teams together, that's going to be really good to watch. Oh, yeah. I've noticed he's managed to get his Flesh Golem back as well. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, looking at his team. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I think in terms of people with... Uh, Slight advantages, I say future handbags and Necro World, definitely. Snow Dogs and Volcanic Balls and Romantic Necros, for that matter, actually, are doing pretty well. Mm. I think everyone's doing pretty well apart from the show at Owls. <laughs> 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 so, um, in your own mind, per a team that's doing the worst, <laughs> I have to ask this. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's got to be your team. Oh my god. And yet, the, the weird thing is, is because I injured DJ's team, I, uh -huh. I thought you were a sure win. I, you know what? It was even ground, but from the get go, it was. Mm. I had that one mess, mishap with the dice, and then it just kept on happening. Yeah. Um, I'm people that have been watching the the match, which uh, everyone can on this channel, uh, have been saying. I think it was uh, Desiree's actual comment, because he actually watched it today. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a, a Saturday, by the way, people from the future. Um, he, his comment was, well, this match is a lot of mm -hmm. <laughs> Um A lot of laughs, though. So, great match. Absolutely phenomenal. So, uh, moving on. Your predictions for the Throwdown, the tournament. So, who do you think is going to be causing you issues? Who do you think is going to win? Do you think you're going to win? Who's not going to win 100% <laughs> if you want to go that far? What are your well, predictions? I'd like to win. I mean, I've got a decent team this time. And from you do. Well, the last week, going from absolute bottom <laughs> to, <laughs> yeah. to maybe standing a chance. I, 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 I mean, believe so. I hope so. Yeah, you definitely caught the eye of uh, every other coach, mm -hmm. every other player. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So who? Mm. So definitely Anima. He could give me a win for me money. Negro World. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, whenever yeah. I've uh, done a like friendless with the the handbags, Necro mm -hmm. World always give me uh, a run for my money. Well, the Necro Romantics. The Necro Romantics. Yeah. I usually yes. end up winning, but it's skinning my teeth job sort of thing. So the it's Necro be teams are they are good, aren't they? They are mm. Necro teams. Also, while we're talking about Necro Roman or Romantic Necros, um, no ghouls. How do you? I mean, uh, L Plate. He says they're useless. Mm. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? If you have any. They are very squishy. <laughs> they are squishy. They don't seem to last too long. Uh, does that, does that, do you feel that they're useless as a necromancy team? Or would you use them if you had one? Or, or you're um, unsure? I would probably, I'd probably still have them. But I'd mm. keep them in reserve until I actually needed them. I wouldn't like put them in the, the front line. Mm. I think that's a smart, a smart plan. <laughs> but you're, you're always going to need a runner somewhere down the line. Oh yeah, a runner and a catcher always always handy, especially mm. for humans or elves. Uh, speaking of humans, uh, let's talk about Snowdog, who yes. I don't believe has had much in ways of deaths and injuries. I, I see he's got a, a missing a next game. Yeah. Um, do you feel that Snowdogs, even though they're kind of going through at a nice casual pace, do you feel that this is their time to shine, or? Well. It is Snowdog, you know, and he, he, mm. he's, he's got, uh, he's good. got, got good head on him, he knows what he's doing. 
so, uh, I, th- I think also Desiree mentioned pedigree. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's got the he's got the the experience of the yes. blood bowl. Definitely, he's, you know, he's, he's always like two steps ahead of you. So you got to really be on your game against Snow Dog. Oh, definitely. I'm just gonna have a little look. Let's have a little look at uh, the Overlord's army because I noticed they have 950. <laughs> uh, hold on, they have got two players with injuries, mega injuries, a couple of rotters. Ooh, wow, okay. yeah. Yeah. That, oh. oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that puts me in a good mood. <laughs> After what happened to well, my. Oh yeah, you're next, aren't you? Uh, yes, I believe I am. Let's look at the schedule. Uh, you know, let's just, let's just look at the next week's schedule right now. Let's do, let's do that first. So yeah, for Cannibals versus Romantic Necros, that's going to be interesting because DJ and Plate like to have a bit of a go at each other, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I believe oh, they both record that on their channels, don't they, respectively? Yeah, they do, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, you can watch the games there whenever they bring those out. So we're keeping an eye on them. So we've got Snow Dogs and you. Mm. So, thoughts. It's, preparations. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough, but I've lost mm. the last two matches against Snow Dog, so I'd like, like to make it, you know, third time to charm. Third yeah. time to charm, and with lizards. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think you might. I think the Snow Dogs might have the best chance against your lizards, mainly because they're the jack of all trades. Because your your lizards can go against if one if a particular team has a particular style of play, but with the snow dogs they're very very fluid. Mm. How, have you thought of a way to go go about that, or are you just going to wing it and see what happens? Well, I've been playing a lot of matches just recently against humans, just to see how they, they play ah, out. So I, I've, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing that match. <laughs> uh, is either you two going to be recording this or live streaming it? Or? Um, I should be recording it, yeah. Oh, awesome! I'll well, check. Go to Red Tone's channel. <laughs> Watch this match. It's going to be good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as you predicted, or uh, just read, Overlord's Army, Cheryl <laughs> Um Once again, both teams are two players down. So, hopefully, hopefully the curse is gone. We can only hope. <laughs> Um, that's going to be recorded and streamed. Nice. So, yeah, keep an eye on that. Um, that will be streamed more likely Wednesday. That seems to be the day that's been happening on this channel. So, I hope, hopefully, I don't get below 500. I've actually said on the match as well. Uh, I mean, you were there, weren't you? Yeah. Um, if I get below 500, I might just have to retire the team and just, like, just go home, go back to the forest, go back to your family. No. I, just don't want to, I don't want to lose any more people. <laughs> well, you know, you got to think about the players. I mean, I know they get like hundreds of thousands of gold, but you know. <laughs> so let's look at the scores of uh, week two. So Romantic Necro, Snow Dogs, a draw, 1-1. One, one. Uh, not, not surprised by that. I'm not. Uh... <laughs> Sherwood Hells. Oh no, wait, Overlord Army and Necro World. Necro World absolutely mullered Overlord Army. Uh, luckily, not by injuries too much. Possibly. 2 <laughs> 0 uh, to Necro. And then we've got the. The Battle of Sherwood Hells and Volcanic Balls. Where I'll say more about Massacre, to be fair. <laughs> massacre, yeah. Um. You, as you can see, it's one two. That 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 one was actually a gracious pity touchdown by <laughs> DJ, uh, which I'm very grateful for. It means I got some SPP. <laughs> um, and obviously, you had the bye week. Yes. So you had you had that you had a week off. So that's lovely. Uh, you, you know, went to the beach or something. <laughs> yeah, chilled out. Ah, uh, okay, marvelous. So let's have a look at the leaderboard while we can. So, Sherwoodale's not at bottom, thankfully, thanks to the bye week night. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm happy with that. Uh, Necro World at the top, uh, probably because he had his bye week of yeah. week three. Uh, so, Volcanic Bulls are ahead of you, Red. Not for long. Not for long. Even though your team value is higher, which is actually kind of. You both got a win and a draw, yet, for some reason, you're not ahead. That's really bizarre. I'll have to kill his team again. <laughs> I'll just have to sacrifice them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any last uh, comments or smack talk for your next opponent? 
Ooh. Mm. Well, it's humans. I mean, they they, they flesh you, they, they squidge you, they, they just go down fine. The, the warm bloods. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, still, they'll soon be dead. <laughs> there we have it. So, uh, Snow Dogs, uh, watch yourselves. you got some hungry lizards coming your way. But that's all the time we have, so thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back after break to talk about the <gasps> Corn Day celebration. So, stay tuned, and we'll see you soon.